hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this video we actually going to learn how we can handle the tooltip using selenium so uh, before that let's discuss about the tooltip like what do we mean by tooltip and how we can actually handle the tooltip using selenium so tooltip is nothing but uh, like it basically used to give the more information about the objects on which user hovers with the help of mouse and like what can be those objects like this objects can be text button image maybe a link or could be a text area etc and we might have like scenarios to test the static text displayed inside your tooltip and verify it so such kind of scenarios can come across in test automation where we have to actually do the validation over the tooltip and to perform such kind of scenarios we need to hover over the object first with the help of mouse cursor and as soon as the tooltip text appears we need to get the text and do the validation part so this is how we can actually uh, like automate the tooltip so let's do the uh, implementation part so for the implementation we are using this website so let's go to this website and if you check this button if you hover over this button you actually can see the tooltip information right so the tooltip information says you hover over the button so this is this is the functionality we wanted to automate so once you hover over this button the tooltip text gets appear and you just need to read the text and do the further operations like validations like uh, doing the assertions that you can actually easily do okay let's inspect this so this button has id as tooltip button i'm going to copy this go back to my intellij uh, and now going to create a web element object I'm going to name it as tooltip on button okay driver dot find element by id and going to paste the value so we have that button web element right now we have to like hover over that particular button so how we can actually do that we can actually do that with the help of actions class so for that we need the actions class object so let me create an actions class object actions action equal new actions and just pass your driver object okay so you have the actions class object then you have the web element on which you need to hover now let's do the operation use your actions class object actions dot then say move to element so this method is going to help us to move to that particular element with the help of mouse okay i am going to mention the web element tooltip on button then you have to say build so this build method is going to help us to basically uh, like build all chain of actions or you can say user actions that are going to perform and once you call the perform method this perform method is going to execute all chain of actions right so once we do the hover over that particular button the tooltip text will be get appear so let's go back to the browser so if you check the tooltip text it is again a text you hover over the button i'm going to create a simple xpath for that and going to say i'm going to mention the text you hovered over the button let me just check the text again okay this looks okay so i have created a xpath with the help of a text that is going to appear I'm going to copy that xpath let's go back to the IntelliJ now again we need to create a web element now we need to give a name as tooltip text on button okay now we have to say driver dot find element by xpath and then paste the value okay So right now we like uh, we have the button web element then we hover over that particular button and then we have the tooltip text button right which is going to provide us the text. Now what you need to do is this uh, basically line of code is going to provide us the web element that basically has the text 
so I'm going to say string to tip text equals your tool tip text on button dot get text so with the help of this method we will be retrieving the text from this particular web element okay and I'm going to print it tooltip text and then I'm going to close the driver okay so let's run this code so it hover over that particular button but looks like something went wrong let me just close this okay so we have a ex exception and it says no such element exception it couldn't locate that particular web element that we provided this one so looks like mm, there is a race of condition so when we hover over the text the tooltip text uh, takes a lot of time like some time to appear on the web page that's why it uh, it come across a race of condition and that's why we facing a no such element exception so in this case we actually can use the web driver weight that is the explicit weight so let's create a web driver weight object I'm going to name it as weight equals new web driver weight and it needs two parameters like one of one is your driver and other is the duration and I'm going to say 10 seconds so we have the object right now we have to use the object once we hover over that particular button so I'm going to say wait until the expected conditions matches or you can say presence of element to be located so we are going to wait till the time the element is located on the web page and then we have to pass the locator value by dot xpath let me just copy this text so this value we are going to paste as it is ok I am just going to add this on this next line so what we are going to do is we are going to hover over the button then we are going to wait for a particular amount of time when the element is located on the web page we are going to take the web element instance and going to read the text and then going to print it ok let's run this okay this time it looks okay and if you check the console you can actually see the uh, entire text that we wanted to print from the tooltip you hover over the button so looks like this is successful we like uh, able to like uh, get the text from the tooltip once we hover over that particular button now let's get back to the browser and if you check there is again a input field and if you hover over the input field there is again a tooltip right so let's see like how the uh, tooltip information or how we can actually handle the tooltip when uh, there is a input field now before that let's just inspect this web element and it has id as tooltip text field i'm going to copy that go back to your intellij before that let's just comment out this code Now let's create a fresh web element and name it as tool tooltip tooltip text on your input field. Okay, and then say driver dot find element by ID and then paste the ID value. So now we have the web element of that particular uh, input field now we are going to say actions dot move to that particular web element 
tooltip text input field then going to say build and then perform so as 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 uh, this part of line of code we are actually going to hover over the particular web element now uh, after that we actually going to do the same operation so i'm just going to copy this entire code and going to copy and paste here only thing you need to change is this particular x path because if you check the text uh, tooltip text it says you hover over the text field so instead of button you need to just change that button text to your text field and just copy this and replace here as well okay and then you can actually change the nomenclature input okay and then we are going to print the tooltip text so yeah we are okay then let's run the script okay now if you check the console the text has changed and it says you hover over the text field so now we hover over the text field and then read out that particular text from the tooltip and we printed that so again we actually seen how we can actually deal with the tooltip uh, when there is a tooltip on your input field now let's get back to the browser and if you see this text this is again a anchor tag so we are going to check how we can do the anchor tag uh, tooltip information reading so if you hover over this anchor tag you can actually see your tooltip information which says you hovered over the contrary right so we are going to read this tooltip so let's just inspect this and okay this has a text so we need to create the x path i'm going to say star text equals okay so we have the x path for that particular anchor tag let's copy this and go back to your IntelliJ let's comment this entire code now let's create a web element again and this time name it as to tip to tip on your anchor tag okay and then going to say driver dot find element by your x path going to paste the x path value and then we are going to use actions class object actions dot move to element measure your uh, web element tooltip anchor tag then say build then perform now we are going to again copy this entire code this three line of code we are going to copy and paste it as it is just going to change some of the values such as this anchor tag change here as well and this text will be different right if you see the uh, entire part it says you hover over the contrary so we need to copy the contrary text and replace with the text field now we have to say contrary okay and add a colon okay let's run the script now this should hover over that anchor tag and it should read that tooltip yes okay you can check the console for the output it says you hovered over the contrary so again this is successful we can actually do the uh, tooltip reading information uh, over the anchor tag then button and as well as the input field 
also you can do over the links and other form of like uh, web elements but uh, as part of this video we are actually showing for the button then link and for the input field so yeah thank you so much guys for watching this video if you like the video please do like share and comment also don't forget to subscribe the channel and see you soon in the next video goodbye